Major General Gregory Mugisha Muntu arrived for the much-awaited media conference with a grin on his face which belied the rank and acrimony of the just-concluded FDC presidential election. Since he lost the election gracefully last Friday to Patrick Koboya Muriat, he was speaking for the first time before the media. Muntu was sandwiched between party stalwarts such as leader of opposition Win Kiza, Sam Junganda, the opposition chief whip, Machinde East MP Ibrahim Kasozi, Angelina Osege, who is the Soroti woman MP, and Alice Alasso, among others. Nganda, who is also the party publicist, invited Muntu to speak. His first statement was that the grueling election period is over. Let us focus our efforts on doing whatever we can to build a Uganda we can all be proud of, a country that truly offers each of her citizens the opportunity to prosper. Muntu said that he is handing over the office for the party at the time cohesion had begun to return to the party. I must say that uh, we handled it well because on Friday I'm going to handle a, a party which is intact. I'm going to hand it over to Honorable Oboy. However, he spoke candidly about sharp divisions in the party. It is also clear that there are significant and undeniable issues and differences that exist within the party. Some emerge during the campaigns where others have been long standing. There are some who feel these differences are irreconcilable, while there are others that feel that they can be resolved. It's behind such disagreements that he has decided to start a countrywide consultation to find solutions for the party problems. So we have got to listen and understand how do we handle this. One, as a party, or all political actors who are involved in the change process. Muntu said that he would work in line with the party's new leadership, a statement that seems to have cast aside claims that he was preparing to quit FDC to form a new political party. Whether we are in one party or two, because ultimately that's the objective. Is that not so? Mm. That we create a political environment in this country where everybody feels comfortable in doing whatever they do, in thinking the way they do, as long as it is within the law. The national chairman, Waswabirigwa, responded to Muntu's statement, saying that he was free to consult, but on one condition. Depending on exactly what he intends to do, this he has not told us. But as I said, it's not consulting about the elections. It's, I think it's consulting about his future uh, in politics or his future within FDC. Bidigwa stalked the flames when he suggested that Muntu is being driven by the loss he suffered and he will be given time to heal. There's times when you start thinking whether this is the right thing to be in or to decide on the way, best way forward. Uh, this is his prerogative. Commenting on a speculation that Muntu would galvanize a third force if he quits the party, Bidigwa opined that FDC is not driven on individualism. He will come talks between Muntu and Amuriat. I hope he arrives at a decision that he needs to stay and continue and be supportive of the uh, uh, engineer Amuriat who has won. However, FDC lawmakers who held key party positions in Muntu's tenure say they are ready to relinquish office. I wouldn't want someone to take it that because Amuriat has come in, that is why Winnie has gone out of the office. It is an office that I was ready to leave after two and a half years. Mm. In fact, for me, I've been waiting for them to come and disband us. I am still waiting. Because they said it is useless to have leadership in parliament. I am waiting to be disbanded. As the largest opposition party papers over cracks, it will take honesty and dialogue to prevent those who feel aggrieved from moving out. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.